right, so in case you haven't seen it, this is our Flopsy artwork. We have a bunch of cool uh, art and fun things we're doing. We've been working on this board for a while. What's the latest update, Lady? Okay, the latest update is I made mistakes, but I also added some cool features. I'll fix these mistakes. Um, so I added Apple II, Apple Disk 2 port, uh, which required adding a negative 12 volt power supply um, because that it needs it for biasing. And um, I also updated the pinup for the floppy so it could be used for emulating a floppy. So not like can it read floppies. I also added some buttons um, for it. Like I wanted to have an offline mode. So like you can, you don't even need a computer. Like you just connect to a floppy drive and then have it like dump floppy disks without a um, computer involved. Um, and also sensor inputs. Okay. Uh, I also designed, so I did a lot with the BQ um, 25185, which is kind of a cool low cost lipo charger that can do one amp but it can also do solar input i actually verified i got my solar panel out and verified it actually works quite well with solar it does some uh, power tracking with that um so this is a version so i made a version that's just the charger chip like in all the outputs and then i made a version that had a 3.3 volt buck output and this is a 5 volt boost output so this is kind of like a solar power boost maybe we'll call it solar boost okay um it's it's very inexpensive and simple it doesn't have like, all the LEDs of the power boost, but like I said, it does solar output. It's got USB-C. Um, and then since I did that um, negative supply for the Apple Disk 2 on the Flopsy, one thing that I noticed was it's really hard to get a split supply um, generator. And so, you know, like finding a buck that can handle negative voltages, it's like there's not that many, they're kind of expensive, but this chip is actually really cheap in comparison and does both buck and boost. Not huge amounts, it's only got a two amp internal switch. So it's good for like a couple hundred milliamps maybe. Um, but uh, it's split supply. It's good for like analog synthesizers and like other, like you know, basically analog stuff where you need like plus minus six to plus minus 12. So I made a little breakout board for this. I think it'll be handy for people doing um, projects, especially retro projects. A lot, of old, old pro old, a lot of old products I've seen need plus and minus 12 volts. That's top secret. Yep. Back in the vault, you. Yes.